Welcome to Harpers Ferry National Historical Park. I'm Dennis Fry, Chief Historian here at Harpers Ferry, and you are here in the Eastern Panhandle at one of the most significant, renowned sites, not only here in West Virginia, but in the United States. This little brick building behind me is known as the John Brown Fort, made famous by the abolitionist John Brown, who comes here to Harpers Ferry in 1859 to seize the United States Army and Arsenal. There were weapons here. Brown intended to use those weapons to bring a war to end slavery. Now ultimately, his plan doesn't work. He becomes trapped in this building and he will be captured by United States Marines under the command of Robert E. Lee. He will be taken from here to nearby Charlestown, the county seat of Jefferson County, be placed on trial and convicted. The largest Civil War battle in Virginia, soon to become West Virginia, occurs here on the ground on which I'm standing and in the gap around me. You can see behind me the famous gap, the Harpers Ferry Water Gap, where the Potomac and Shenandoah Rivers carved their way through the Blue Ridge. And the Confederate objective here was this, seize the mountains, capture the mountains, and trap the Federals inside a triangle of mountains. Robert E. Lee chooses West Virginia's native son, Stonewall Jackson, to lead this expedition. Bordered by the Potomac and Shenandoah Rivers, the eastern panhandle of West Virginia is about an hour's drive from Washington, D.C. The shots fired in Harpers Ferry during John Brown's raid in October of 1859 are regarded by many as the first of the Civil War. Brown's objective was to capture the Federal Armory and provide weapons to slaves for a rebellion. Brown and his conspirators were trapped and captured on October 18th. He was taken into nearby Charlestown where he stood trial and was hanged. Future Confederate generals Robert E. Lee and J.E.B. Stewart led the Federal Marine forces that captured Brown. John Brown's 1859 raid is explained and illuminated throughout the restored town of Harpers Ferry and at the Harpers Ferry National Historical Park. As one of the first acts of the war, on April 27, 1861, Virginia's governor ordered Colonel Thomas Jonathan Jackson to take command at Harper's Ferry, where he organized troops that would soon comprise the famous Stonewall Brigade. In the spring of 1861, shortly after the outbreak of the Civil War, the Confederacy desperately needed to increase its small supply of railroad rolling stock. In response to this, Colonel Jackson contrived and executed a brilliant plan to appropriate a large number of locomotives, railroad cars, and other important pieces of equipment from the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. On May 24, 1861, his men seized some 40 locomotives and nearly 400 railroad cars, taking them to Winchester. On July 2, 1861, Union soldiers marched south to Martinsburg. Confederate Colonel Jackson fought a holding action just north of town in the Battle of Hope's Run. The outnumbered Confederates were repulsed and retreated back to Virginia. The town had a strong Union sentiment, with one notable exception, Bell Boyd. On July 4th, a Union soldier swore at Boyd's mother, prompting Boyd to kill him with a pistol. She was cleared of any wrongdoing and went on to a long and legendary career as a Southern spy. The Civil War was devastating for Harpers Ferry, which changed hands 14 times because of the town's strategic location on the railroad and the northern end of the Shenandoah Valley. With an occupying force of 14,000 federal troops, Harpers Ferry played a key role in the Confederate invasion of Maryland in September of 1862. General Robert E. Lee did not want to continue on to Western Maryland without capturing the town. Leaving Lee and dividing his army, Stonewall Jackson surrounded and captured the town during the Battle of Harpers Ferry. The capture of 12,500 troops was the largest federal surrender of the war. Jackson and Lee recombined forces at the town of Sharpsburg, Maryland, and two days later, the bloodiest day in the Civil War took place at the Battle of Antietam. The Battle of Butler's Ford and the Battle of Shepherdstown in West Virginia marked the closing of that engagement. On June 14, 1863, the first Battle of Martinsburg, part of the Gettysburg Campaign, was fought. 
Preparing to invade the North for the second time, Robert E. Lee wanted the town's food stores. At the conclusion of the day's hard fighting, he came away with no more than several thousand bushels of grain. Union General William Avril conducted operations in Harpers Ferry, Martinsburg, and Hedgesville in the Eastern Panhandle throughout 1863. During the summer campaign of 1864 in the Shenandoah Valley on July 25th, the Second Battle of Martinsburg was fought. Confederate General Jubal A. Early hoped to threaten the Union command in the valley and eventually in Washington, D.C. By July 1864, the Union again had control of Harpers Ferry. On July 4th, the Union commander, General Franz Siegel, withdrew his troops to Maryland Heights. From there, he resisted Confederate General Jubal A. Early's attempts to enter the town. The Battle of Summit Point was a battle fought on August 21st, 1864. The battle resulted in approximately 1,000 casualties and was part of Union Major General Philip Sheridan's Shenandoah Valley Campaign. On August 25th, the Battle of Smithfield Crossing was fought over a four-day period in Jefferson and Berkeley counties. The Battle of Cabletown, November 18, 1864, was a battle between Confederate partisan rangers under Captain John S. Mosby against Federal Lieutenant Richard R. Blazer and his Blazer's scouts. Mosby defeated Blazer's troops with nine companies of cavalry. Mosby's rangers had defeated the most famous scouting company of the Union Army. The eastern panhandle of West Virginia was the earliest explored area in the state. It offers a multitude of attractions for the entire family, including great shopping, fine dining, and exquisite architecture. Cacapin State Park is home to a championship Trent Jones golf course. Berkeley Springs State Park offers luxurious mineral baths and massages. The Martinsburg Railroad Center is a must-see and hosts the annual Civil War Festival and Railroad Days Festival. Visit the Bell Boyd House in Martinsburg, built in 1853. Stop by the Harpers Ferry National Historic Park with its restored Living History Museum.